Greetings and salutations. Today I've got a cartoon fighting game, psychic channel surfing, friends to reunite, and a story told entirely through the ancient medium of Instant Messenger. I'm your host, Josh. It's really early in the morning here, but I'm about to leave for work. But you're watching Free Play. Welcome to Free Play, the show dedicated to bringing you reviews of games you can download and play at absolutely no cost. You know, even the simplest game represents many hours of hard work from artists, musicians, programmers, writers, and everyone else who makes up a development team. Many times with small indie titles like the ones I often feature here, the same people wear multiple hats in the process, and the resulting games are true labors of love. It's their creativity that I want to celebrate here on this channel. Not every game here is perfect in every aspect, but everyone I talk about has something to offer that makes it worth your time. So let's go ahead and get started. Brawlhalla. So if you've spent much time around games, you may have already mentally shelved this one alongside Super Smash Bros. And if so, you wouldn't be wrong. Brawlhalla is a multiplayer fighting game with a large and varied cast of colorful cartoon characters. Its controls are simple, but there is a fair amount of variety in its unique weapon system. Each character is associated with a different combination of two weapons. Spears, pistols, cannons, swords, mallets, javelins, knives, you get the idea. The different combinations lend each fighter a slightly different feel. The balance is spot on though and no character seems inherently stronger or weaker than another. Only a couple of fighters from the roster are available for free at any given time, but that doesn't mean you need to shell out any cash for the full experience. You can earn in-game currency by winning matches and completing challenges, then spend that currency to unlock more characters or customize their looks. There's a pretty large online community for this game, but there's also a single-player arcade mode to work through, and if you have enough controllers, you can round up a few friends for an old-school throwdown in local multiplayer. Something I wish more PC games included. Think you've got what it takes to be king of the hill? Well, now's your chance to prove it. Old TV Okay, wait just a moment. Before I tell you about this next game, I have a quick activity for you. Read the list in front of you aloud, but instead of saying the actual words, say the color each is printed in. I'll wait for you. Harder than it looks, eh? All right. Now we can continue. Remember that scene from Stranger Things 2 where Eleven is channel surfing with her brain? That's basically the story of this game, except that you are the psychic child, connecting to channels across the globe. The way you move through the channels is simple. Just identify whether the color of the text matches the actual word. Left click for yes, right click for no. Go faster now. Faster. Oh darn, you got it wrong. Now try again. You're not doing it fast enough. What are you, stupid? This is simple. Come on. Of course, simple does not mean easy. And although this game's concept is simplicity itself, it presents a pretty great challenge. As you progress, it'll throw other problems in to mix things up. Sometimes reversing controls, sometimes telling you not to click, sometimes mixing up word levels. Who would have guessed matching colors could cause so much rage? Find You Even though the graphics aren't much to look at, Find You is a unique and creative puzzle platformer with excellent level design based around a really cool concept. The goal of each stage is to reunite all your characters in one location. The twist is that they all move simultaneously from one set of controls. This mechanic leads to some really clever and devious logic problems to solve. The puzzles never feel cheap though. All the resources you need are right in front of you, 
and coming up with a solution to a particular problem can make you feel like a genius. With 100 levels to work through, there are plenty of opportunities here to exercise your brain. Emily is away. Man, this hit me right in the nostalgia. Like many people who were in high school and college in the early 2000s, before Facebook was even imagined, I spent a lot of time chatting with friends on AOL Instant Messenger. Emily is Away captures that era perfectly through its minimalistic text windows and all too familiar sound effects. There's not a ton of interactivity here, it's essentially a choose your own adventure story told through text messages, but it manages to make the choices it presents the readers with feel very meaningful. Even the way dialogue choices are dropped in through individual keystroke serves to deepen the immersion. And let me warn you, without giving away too much, this story is a gut punch. It will make you feel... things. Now, because it contains some rough language and deals with a bit of mature subject matter, Emily is Away isn't for everyone. But if you are interested in a game that demonstrates the profound emotional potential of interactive fiction, this one is well worth the half hour or so it takes to play through it. And with that, episode 3 is in the bag. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this sort of commentary, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on the most recent episodes. As always, I've put the links to the games I mentioned today down below. I encourage you to give them a try. YouTube is fun, but games are a unique medium, designed to be played, not just watched. If you do give any of these a shot, or have suggestions for others that I should cover on this show, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, you're free. Now go play.